Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL and we are going to go over some of the fruit trees that I planted here in Colombia but also some of them this right here is Nispero but right here we planted the breadfruit now this breadfruit as you see is already pushing out new growth right here beautiful Some of these mangoes have all fallen and they just fall to the floor so we've been picking them up and eating them let's go over here to show you where we put the dwarf yellow coconut two cases okay. look at this this is the dwarf yellow coconut the size compared to a mango As you can tell, this is a yellow variety because the stem right there is yellow alongside. But we're actually going to be putting a pool here in the future, so it's going to go right there. And uh, the dwarf coconut is going to look really good right there when it goes. Now we also have we also have two other coconuts right there. Now these are green varieties, but I believe this is a tall one. And these coconuts are just enormously huge. As you see in my uncle, my uncle's from right here. He has another coconut there. That's a tall green variety as well. It's my dog, Oha. So we're gonna walk over here where I planted the atemodia. Now I'm really happy for these atemodias because uh, I just really wanna eat atemodia. Atemodia is something I've never seen here in the fruit market in Colombia. So as you see we have we're doing a fire right there. And Atamonia is over here. Now I really like the spot where the Atamonia is. As you see the Atamonia. I believe it's Gefner, but look at this beautiful new growth. And it was grafted. As you see, it was grafted right here. We just also have various fruit trees. You see, these are pink guavas. Beautiful. And the reason I'm happy that we planted that one there, that the Moya, is because right next to it is a soursop, huge soursop tree. Look at this soursop fruit. So, as you can see, they're all planted very close, and this one just has flowers going everywhere. The soursop flower right there. So, yeah. Beautiful. And also, let me show you a cool plus. So here we have one at the moment. Yeah, we have a total of two here at the property. And going over here, mangoes and lime. But right here we have a relinia tree. Now this relinia tree is huge, and as you see, it's already flowering. As you see, where the relinia flower is going, going crazy. And this will be really cool to cross pollinate in the future when I come back. This Relinia tree is very healthy. And it's unfortunate that there's no fruit on there yet uh, because we didn't get as much rains as last year at this time. But I'm really happy that the Relinia tree is right here because like I said, look at all these flowers. Beautiful Relinia flowers. And they're just, like I said, it's gonna be awesome to cross pollinate with the second at the Motia tree which is going to be right here this one's also grafted and uh, it's going to go really nice right here it has a good space good sun and this is the our little house back here but yeah that's where that's going to go so i just want to show you guys back here is a uh, orange tree this orange tree is always loaded produces a really good orange and uh Trying to throw in those lift ready, but these also need a few more days. Here we have my mango tree. This is actually mango. And there is one back here that was almost ready to pick, but not yet ready. Maybe a few more days. And uh, look at this beautiful mango. This one, the trunk is pretty good pretty thick 
and I really like how it's formed the canopy but as you see then we go back over here and that uh, sapote tree or nispero not sapote is also loaded with flowers every branch is just loaded this tree is very old <laughs> Hola. <laughs> no, no, stay. Here's my cousin over here next to uh, the mangoes. And as you see, we have everything. My brother. <laughs> it's my cousin. <laughs> Another coconut that's gonna grow tall. As you see, these are bananas. I have to harvest these. Perhaps tomorrow I'll harvest them, but look at that. It's just, this actually fell down, so we have to put the support. And uh, that's plantain. But there is plantain. You can tell it's different by the way the hands form. The hands are more kind of open on the plantain, separated, while the bananas are, are more close together, like that. And as you see, we just have so much more bananas. We harvested so much plantains, but we still have so much more. Look at that one. Alrighty everyone, thank you guys so much for watching the literal tour of my farm in Colombia. I can't wait to do another update next year to see how everything grows. I'm really looking forward to this dwarf coconut because the coconuts that were being produced were absolutely enormous. So I can't wait for that one. And let's just quickly go around over here to see what's going on. Oh, I wanted to show everyone the, the fig tree. This is our fig. We literally planted this as a three gallon last year, three of them, and they just went off like crazy. Figs uh, in Colombia grow very well in this soil. I just love how they just grow here without any nematodes. And uh, they're just beautiful. We have three of them, three fig trees. And we, we keep them short, come over here. And uh, all right back there is my chupa chupa sapote. This is lime. I believe Tahiti. Tahiti lime is what they call that. It's like a giant lime. And all around here is yucca. You know, over there in the United States, people use yucca mainly as chop and drop in permaculture. Uh, but here we use it mainly just to eat the root. And uh, but this is uh, sapote, chupa chupa. Now mine is starting to flower. Our tree is still pretty young. But I think I saw a flower over here. A baby flower, so it still has time. This right here is a lulo. Look at this. This stuff makes really good drinks. And I like how the leaf looks purple. You see? And it's like fuzzy as well. And this is actually a sugar apple that I planted from seed last year. And I'm really happy that it's growing. Next year, this will be triple in size. The first year sugar apples always grow slow from seed, but then they start going fast. 